Happy Saturday, everyone. BJ Berge here. I'm joined by Ralph. Obviously, Lance Bachman isn't here because he's busy gallivanting in Miami, Florida. Happy Small Business Saturday, everybody, from down here in Miami. Sorry I couldn't make it there today. We wish him nothing but the best, and we'll see him next time. But for today, Ralph, we're here to do a follow-up to our last video. Yes, we are. Super happy to be here. Awesome. So we talked about, you know, informational uh, intent. What's the other side of that fence? So there's three main search intents that users typically do when they go on to Google. I mean, informational is your most obvious one. It's asking questions directly into Google. And then you have your more subtle ones, which is navigational and transactional, which equate mm -hmm. to about 25% of all searches. So today we're going to really touch on navigational. Where are we? Uh, next week we'll do transactional, and last week we did informational. So a big part of that, you know, uh, navigational is brand, right? Correct. And, you know, obviously beyond organic uh, SEO and optimization online, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do free of charge, in Google's eyes at least, uh, to protect your brand. But, you know, what, what paid avenue, you know, is best for protecting my brand from that standpoint? Yeah, so like, think about it this way. I mean, SEO-wise, when it comes to branded keywords, you know, you should be ranking for your branded keywords right out the gate. I mean, because that's the easiest thing to, you know, SEO for, because that is your brand. It's typically in your domain name. Are you still master of your domain? So you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, there's other people that could be bidding on your branded keywords and coming above you. So the best way to protect against that is definitely going to be PPC. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So my own brand can be another person's, let alone a competitor's, avenue to make money off of my brand that's right yep yep and who wins in that scenario so if you're not bidding for your own branded keywords 250,000 sold for a buck you might be losing valuable business and typically navigational and transactional search intents are the most likely to convert because they've already done the information they've already searched online they already found the business that they want to do business with that's why they're directly searching for you that's why they're plugging in your business name directly into google and if you're not protecting your branded keywords you could have competitors who are savvy enough to actually bid on your branded keywords and show up above your organic search results if you like this content and you're trying to grow your business follow me at lance bachman and lance bachman digital on facebook LFG, time to grow. Awesome. So the name of the game, clear as day, is brand protection. That's right. right. Yep. So it's not just PPC. It's not just SEO. It is a you know a multifaceted approach to winning online, especially for your brand. Uh, and to your point, when somebody's searching your brand, they're already further down the funnel. That's right. They're not at the, the opening of the funnel. They might not be at the very bottom, but at least they're further down that funnel. So why would you want to miss that opportunity? Right. Um, the one big thing I always tell everybody, and we implore all our clients to do, is you know, control your on your uh, search result real estate. Right. Rank organically for your brand. PPC for your brand. That's right. Other assets can fall up, follow you know, suit in there and perform for you as well you're more likely to convert. I know statistically, people who have good organic placement and good paid placement tend to convert more than just paid winning ads and regular organic winning. Right, absolutely. And, you know, we're also gonna give you, you know, four other reasons why you should be bidding on your branded keywords other than, you know, making sure you're collecting all the navigational search intents that users might have out there. And you actually just touched on that, you know, dominating the search page for your um, branded keywords, you know, the search engine results page and taking up as much real estate, including those paid top paid um, slots up top on top of the organic results is it's huge. So more real estate you take up on your branded keyword SERP page, the better. Not only that, you can control your messaging. That's right. And somebody else isn't personating you. Somebody else isn't pretending to be you or talking down about your product. You're the one or service for that matter. You're the one able to control your message on the paid side as well. That's right. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a whole slew of things. I mean, when your competitors are actually bidding on your PPC um, keywords and trying to rank above you um, organically, because I mean, the search results, you know, paid search results are above organic search results. So you might have an awesome SEO plan. You're already top results for your branded keywords, obviously. But, you know, competitors, if they're savvy enough, they'll find a way to rank above you. And that's through PPC. And like you said, you know, controlling your message is super important because, on the worst level, let's say, like a competitor could be, you know, trying to badmouth you or like put 
not so positive spin on your own search results page for your branded keywords. So controlling that messaging and actually protecting your branded keywords is gonna be super important to make sure you dominate your own branded keywords uh, search page. Awesome, so Ralph, let me say this. I'm a cheap SOB, right? <laughs> One too many trips to Taco Bell, my wallet's paper thin. How, how much is this gonna cost me? So here's the best part. Branded PPC keywords are the cheapest. You know, they're a drop in the bucket. They're a steal when it comes to paying for keywords. You know, sometimes if you're in a very competitive industry, um, you could be paying upwards of $50 per click. You know, that's expensive mm -hmm. and a lot of companies can't afford that. But, you know, say you have a great SEO program and you just want to bolster it by making sure your branded keywords are protected. You know, PPC can be very cheap too because those keywords, even if your competitors are bidding on them, they're so cheap already you know, it shouldn't be a huge increase to your um, digital marketing budget. That's awesome. You know, that's value menu dollars and Taco Bell talk. Absolutely. With that being said, you know, this is a huge opportunity. The, those leads are closer near the point of conversion if they're looking for you brandedly, or from a branded standpoint, excuse me. Um, and if the ball is already in your court, why wouldn't you see it through to the net? Right, yeah, I mean, that's the biggest thing, you know. Navigational and transactional intent, you know, they're as you said, further down the funnel. So you don't want to give competitors any reason to snipe your mm -hmm. sales at the very last part of the funnel. I mean, you already did all the hard work. You already probably poured, you know, a lot of money into your digital marketing PPC campaigns for keywords that are not branded. So they might have found you from PPC. They might have found you organically, radio ads, TV ads, whatever it could be. And when they're about to convert, you know, they're going to plug your name in and they might mistake you know, a competitor's ad for your ad and find a different value proposition there and you might lose that conversion right at the cusp of making it. Awesome, well, I mean, clear as day, there's the opportunity, there right? Is. That's it, that's so, it. For all of you out there, don't let this opportunity pass you by because your competitors will take advantage of it. Make sure that you, you know, check out our accompanying blog, make sure that you reach out to us so we can give you a free consultation to let you know where you stand from a brand standpoint. And Ralph, until next time. Until next time. Let's effing go.